Russian with the call sign Silver, joined the Russian-Ukrainian war and volunteered for the Storm Z unit, which fought in the Donbass. He supported Ukraine and acted following the secret plan of the Freedom of Russia Legion Command. At some point, Silver blew up the commander and went over to the side of the Ukrainian forces. The combat path of the Russian pro-Ukrainian volunteer was told on the YouTube channel Vidu Shivdushu. In the first minutes of the conversation, Silver said that he was 24 years old and three months ago in the summer, he was at the front in the Ocheritine area west of Avdiivka in the Donbass. The Russian volunteered for the army and served for four months in the Storm Z unit before the transition. Former prisoners served alongside him, convicts, who were shot to force obedience. According to him, there was a man among the Russians who volunteered to personally carry out the execution. He cleaned up every tenth person. He shot every tenth person personally, right in the head, right before the formation. They thought maybe they would have more motivation. The commander approved, the Russian explained. Silva also spoke about the habit of the commanders of the Russian armed forces to zero out soldiers. The main reason for such actions is the refusal to storm Ukrainian positions, escape from the trenches, refusal to return to positions, refusal to bring ammunition and pull out the wounded. According to him, this is done by the entourage of the officer who leads the unit. Special people are not allocated for this. In addition, the volunteer explained why he did not join the SLR, having left the Russian Federation abroad. According to him, this option did not suit him, so he signed a contract to immediately go over to the Ukrainian side. At the same time, Silva began operating in September 2023, and already in February, he resolved all the issues. While going through the formalities, the Russian consulted with the Legion. One of his operations at the front was emptying a mine warehouse of an adjacent unit. When he decided to end his service, he blew up the commander of the Storm Z and crossed the front line. Russian troops are deploying dummies on the front lines to fool Ukrainian FPV drones into futile attacks. According to The Telegraph, videos posted online show the dummies dressed in military uniforms lined up in a wooded area, with one appearing to be holding a missile launcher. Most likely, the publication writes, the dummies are intended to attract and confuse Ukrainian FPV drones, potentially diverting fire from real targets. As Keir Giles, an expert at the Chatham House think tank, noted, such decoys are in line with a trend in warfare to become increasingly personalized, with drones going after individual targets in the form of individual people. Russian troops often play dead when they see an FPV drone above them, and dummies can be an effective way to sow doubt in the minds of drone operators as to whether they are attacking the right target, he added. Ukraine also deploys decoy mannequins, which were reportedly stationed around the Kharkiv region after the area was recaptured towards the end of 2022. Kiev also positioned fake planes at airfields, Privy Re and Odessa in the past, as well as employing inflatable fake weapons and wooden replicas of HIMARS missile systems. Ian Garner, a historian and analyst of Russian culture, said any military that wasn't using this cheap, effective tactic would be foolish. Decoys like this work really well. The war is extremely expensive and both sides are facing onslaughts of drones. If it is cheap to procure mannequins and fake equipment to draw fire and save your men and take out drones and artillery. As The Telegraph notes, decoys have been used as a key military tactic for thousands of years, but they previously focused on large vehicles such as tanks and aircraft. However, technological advances mean that military fakes are also evolving, with some equipment even simulating heat and radar signals. At the same time, the publication notes it is unclear whether dummies will be used in the video or whether this was done intentionally as part of a broader deception plan. Russian forces have used decoys since the war began in February 2022, including painting aircraft at their air bases to mislead potential attackers. A Ukrainian special forces source also said that since 2022, Russian forces have increasingly used fake soldiers around Kherson.